Welcome to Earth Juice. Coming up this week, nuclear ivory, parrot dinosaurs, four legs or two, the most expensive experiment ever, and a heat wave hits America. During the Cold War in the 50s and 60s, there were nuclear tests happening all over the globe. And although it was scary at the time, those nuclear tests left behind radioactive carbon, which could help researchers to now track poached ivory. During those nuclear tests, the amount of radiocarbon in the atmosphere almost doubled, and as it enters the food chain, the radiocarbon can be picked up in animal tissue, allowing scientists to establish the year of an animal's death any time from 1955 onwards. Kevin Uno from Columbia University in the US explained that traditional radiocarbon dating would only be able to pick up faint traces of decay. But because the bomb spike doubled the concentration of carbon, they were able to find huge fluctuations in the last 60 years, and by measuring the age of the tusk, they can predict when it likely came to market, and ultimately also help researchers to pinpoint the actual source of the ivory. Paleontologists from right here in Bristol, together with some from Beijing and Bonn, have discovered how one of the best known dinosaurs switched from using four legs to two during its own lifetime. For part of his PhD thesis, Dr. Zhao Qi from Bristol University worked at a German paleohistology lab, sectioning arm and leg bones from 16 individual specimens of Psittacosaurus, the parrot dinosaur. The bones showed that the yearlings had long arms and shorter legs, perfect for crawling around after hatching, and that the arm bones grew at their fastest when the animals were aged one to three. But incredibly, from four to six years, the arm growth then slows down, and the legs become twice as long as the arms, meaning that the adult dinosaurs stood on their hind legs. So, four legs good, two legs better. Professor Zhu Xing from the Beijing Institute and a supervisor on Zhao's thesis added that this is a remarkable study and the first of its kind, showing just how much information is still locked away in the bones of dinosaurs. Now, here at Earth Unplugged, when we shoot a science experiment, we have the lovely Laura looking after our budget, making sure that we don't spend too much money. But the team working on the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in southern France have just revealed that their new toy is going to be the most expensive science experiment ever. In a process known as nuclear fusion, the team hopes to bring lighter atoms together to produce larger ones and to create a huge amount of energy in the process. However, the reactor needed to do this and the building needed to house that reactor are almost as mind-blowing as the science itself. The building needed to house the reactor is going to be an incredible 60 metres tall and extend 13 metres underground. And the reactor itself is going to weigh a whopping 23,000 tonnes. In six different countries, factories are working hard to produce 80,000 kilometres of niobium tin superconducting wire for the reactor's magnets. That's enough wire to wrap around the world twice. But perhaps the most impressive stat about this whole thing is its cost, estimated at somewhere between 13 and 16 billion euros, making it twice the price of the recent Large Hadron Collider and the most expensive science experiment ever. And finally, we watched last week as a wildfire swept across thousands of acres of Arizona, sadly claiming the lives of 19 firefighters attempting to control the blaze. With western states of the US in the grip of an extreme heat wave, people have been evacuated from their homes, sporting events have been cancelled, and planes have even been grounded. Temperatures in California have hit 115 degrees Fahrenheit. In Phoenix, it's been 120, whereas in Death Valley, it's hit an incredible 129. Meteorologists say that the heat wave has been caused by a high pressure weather system sitting over the region, trapping hot air underneath it. And unfortunately, there's no respite in sight as temperatures are due to stay well above 100 degrees Fahrenheit for some time yet. That's this week's juice. Don't forget to check out our mind-bending bead experiment, which cost a little bit less than that fusion reactor. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.